Okay, in this video we're going to take a look at the preferences menu in map software and the vast array of options that uh, that menu provides for making changes to your profile plot or other changes uh, to different tabs within map software. And so to access the uh, preferences menu we can uh, simply select file and then preferences and this is accessible in any tab of map software and so it's going to start uh, by asking you or displaying options for the profile plot itself and uh, you can see here the y-axis values for our temperature we can set uh, between Fahrenheit and Celsius here if you're measuring anything besides temperature, uh, it gives you options for changing those uh, values as well and how they're displayed. Our x-axis uh, values are usually time. You can also set it to uh, distance as well, distance through your oven, and whether that's in centimeters or inches or feet. Um, but relative time is the, the actual recording time of the profiler. Uh, whereas absolute time is, is like your time of day. And then points refers to uh, the amount of data points that the profiler logged. And so that's where you'd set those x-axis options and how, how those are displayed on the profile. Uh, files section, this next section, refers to um, the name of the file, the default name of the file when you uh, download it from your profiler. And so if you have these selected, by default it will uh, display the machine name, your oven uh, name, as well as the name of the computer and the date and time that you're downloading this in the file name of the profile being downloaded. And so you can change those if you wanted to have your assembly information of, of the board that you're measuring um, or your process paste information in the file naming convention as well. You can set those defaults in there. And uh, password protect is simply uh, going to protect the given tab in map software with a password that you would select. And so uh, if you apply, you can see that our profile tab in the bottom is highlighted yellow, which means it's now protected by the default password, um, which is in the user manual for map software and can also be changed. And so that is the same uh, functionality through all of these tabs for map software. And in the next section here we have uh, for our profile, we can auto scale and have that uh, include the recipe values. So for example, if the peak of your profile only went up to 250 degrees C and the profile auto scaled uh, to have a value of 265 and you had a set point of 270, uh, that set point would be off of off of the profile graph unless we have this selected. And so it's a handy option to have there if you're displaying your, your recipe set points on the profile. Um, another thing that you can do, this is the same, this show section is the same as right clicking on the profile and selecting show on profile. And you can have uh, the date and time that you uh, did this data run, the file name, and uh, how many y-axis grid lines or temperature axis grid lines that you want to display on the profile. And so just for example, if we click over to our profile here, uh, we can see a, a nice looking profile of our uh, 20 channel megamole series profiler. And right now we have two temperature axis grid lines, y-axis grid lines in there. And so if we go back to file and preferences, we can automatically update this in the background. If we hit apply, you can see it starts adding more reference points for us to look at on the graph. Um, align profile uh, peaks will align the uh, set point with the highest temperature to the peak of your profile. And um, we'll leave that off for now because we don't have any oven information on there with the the set points, but uh, you can also choose the background color of your profile 
if you want to apply a different appearance to it. And this print select option, which is in each tab, uh, is just displaying or uh, letting you know that when you go to file and print, that the profile will be automatically included by default with your uh, your print job that you send to the printer. And so if you wanted to turn that off, say for example, if you just need to print the summary tab from Map Software uh, when you print reports for your profiling, uh, you can deselect that and modify that how you'd like. And so the next tab in preferences that we'll move right along to is the machine tab. And this will uh, display your units for your conveyor speed. Um, a range of options are here, centimeters per minute, inches per minute. You can do it in time as well. And the zone size, uh, however you want the zone sizes to be displayed in inches or, or length measurements or time as well. And so other things that you can uh, show for the machine info on your profile are the set points, uh, the zone sizes, uh, your conveyor speed, if you want to apply that. Um, let me go ahead and apply a oven model real quick so we can watch this update in the background. And so you can see it displays in the upper left our 80 centimeters per minute conveyor speed. And if we pop back into preferences here on our machine tab, uh, you can also have it display the zone temps zone bounds and those are the set points for your oven and the zone boundaries uh, these x-axis grid lines are your zone boundaries for the labeled zones at the bottom there and print select we've already covered uh, moving on the assembly information is if you've entered information for say a computer board or motherboard that you're measuring um, you can have that displayed in the increments that you you had set in the assembly information and um, also the assembly name you can have that show on the profile and you can see up in the right hand side our assembly name of motherboard 79 appears up there and so if we go back to uh, or move on here to the uh, process this is our process paste uh, the units uh, for our process pay specs, whether they're in minutes or seconds or maybe hours if you have a curing application that you're you're using. And also the target 10 specifications, um, which are from the mole, downloaded from the mole itself, whether you're in spec or not, um, those can be displayed on the profile as well. And so if we do that, you can see that it will overlay a graph of our ramp and our soak area and our uh, spike, our liquidus temperature, and if that is in spec uh, with our downloaded thermal data. And so uh, moving on here, uh, the summary tab. Let's click over to our summary tab real quick. It looks pretty clean right now. Um, if you want to view each cell for customizing the summary tab in the preferences menu, what we can do here is select to show uh, grid lines and apply and it'll look a little bit more like Excel here um, and the rows and columns as well uh, give it even more of that appearance uh, and this would be for editing um, and that type of thing and so it will print out like that if you have that selected you may want to deselect it if you do print your summaries a lot the spreadsheet tab in the preferences menu of map software uh, covers everything in this tab here for the spreadsheet your um, min and max and how the information is displayed in the in the spreadsheet and so if we um, jump back into the preferences menu and on our spreadsheet tab you can see right now it's selected to show our spec limits if we turn those off our pink and blue uh, hot and cold spec limits at the bottom go away and uh, 
the same as well with our summary stats. If you don't need all of this averaged information from each of your profiles that you've downloaded, where it's kind of aggregating this at the bottom of your spreadsheet, you can turn that off as well to make it a little bit cleaner looking. And the user columns are uh, custom, uh, set up for custom entries or labeling information. For example, you can see here that in this green uh, user column, user one, we've denoted that this is uh, line one of our, um, our manufacturing. And if we move this a little bit, you can see what this says. Uh, assembly number 479 is what was being measured in this profile. And so um, these are the user columns for the spreadsheet tab. And in the preferences, you can turn those on or off if you need those or don't, or, or need uh, less or more of those. And so in uh, the SPC tab here, we can do uh, select our samples per subgroup. If you leave that as uh, one at the value of one, that's basically just an individual's chart, um, which will display your spec limit in the SPC tab. And you can see this is labeled as upper spec limit and lower spec limit. However, if we, uh, in our preferences menu here, if we set this to two or more samples per subgroup and apply that, you can see that uh, these become va uh, valid control charts. And basically, you have an upper control limit and a lower control limit uh, that's using um, more than one data point to, to give you an average of averages, if you will. And um, Last but not least here, getting down the line, uh, our mole tab on our newer line of profilers, our uh, mega mole series, our mega profilers, which would include the V mole, uh, the 20 channel mega mole, and the six channel uh, super mole gold 2, SMG2, can be updated. Uh, their firmware can be updated through the map software, which can be handy if we post a firmware update on our website or if you have a unique situation and we, we send you um, firmware to correct a problem that you're experiencing, uh, you can update it through this button here once, uh, once you have the file on your computer. And you can also set a calibration interval of uh, six months or a year. And what that does is it will simply remind you um, when your profiler is to be calibrated. And so if we select mole, drop down menu at the top and instrument status. You can see here uh, my demo instrument does not have a cal date in there, but if it was a year out from its cal date, that would be highlighted in red, letting you know that the instrument uh, needs to be calibrated. And that, that highlighting changes depending on whether you have it as a six month preference or uh, as a full year preference for your calibration interval. And you can also show your uh, mole status, which is going to appear in the bottom left-hand corner of map when I apply this. And map software will go out and talk to your profiler every seven seconds to let you know what the battery, the charge is on the battery, the profiler's internal temperature, if it may be uh, getting too hot to run again, um, and also if it's connected via USB. And so uh, that information is displayed there. If it is uh, bogging down your computer a little bit or if it's uh, making it uh, run a little bit slower, you can turn those off to increase the performance slightly of map software. And on the profile, you can also display those battery voltages, uh, internal temperature, log interval, etc. And finally here in our uh, miscellaneous tab, you can select your language displayed for uh, map software. Um, the number of recent files is just uh, how many files it will show in the file uh, drop-down menu of, of um, things that you have had open recently, uh, environments that were open recently, etc. And uh, this is also where you would change your password if you want to change it from the default password in the, uh, in the map user manual. And so um, moving on here, the mode. Uh, for map software, you can password protect your engineering mode. And just to touch on that real quickly here, 
engineer we have engineering mode and verify mode for map software verify mode is a limited version or a limited view of map software where you can basically only download from the profiler and, and save your files and verify that they that they look correct on the profile however uh, with engineering mode if that is selected you get a uh, whole range of additional options where you can start to analyze your data and keep track of your spreadsheets and summaries etc and that will um, that will be password protected if you select that in the preferences under the miscellaneous tab um, and finally here uh, we have our uh, email if you send reports frequently uh, or summaries to an outside email address you can uh, select the default email address that it goes to here in map software I've just entered uh, a basic one here but uh, just for example to show you if we select file and send to and we want to send our data run it will automatically have that email in there and select OK. And so if you haven't uh, set up an email account on uh, your login for this computer, you'll get this message that says uh, Microsoft Outlook uh, has not been created for this computer and you'd need to uh, set up your email account first before using that option. And I believe we had one more thing here on the final tab. Uh, the authorization, if you're software still needs authorized to use beyond the 31 day trial period uh, you can web authorize it through that uh, button there and get a software unlock key to use it permanently and then these are just the uh, environments it, that show on the left hand toolbar on the left hand side of map software if you have one of our wave rider palettes or an oven rider product you can add those environments and uh, you can see here they appear on the left hand side for you now and so uh, now that we've walked through the preferences uh, we'll give you a, a good idea of some menu options that you can change uh, for map software